The Life and Legacy of the Classical Guitarist Miguel Lobet Miguel Lobet was a renowned Spanish guitarist, considered one of the most influential and innovative guitarists of the 20th century. Born on October 18, 1878, in Barcelona, Spain, Lobet had a deep passion for music from a young age. He is recognized for his contributions to classical guitar music, his virtuosity, and his role in introducing the guitar to the concert stage. Early Life and Education Miguel Lobet was born into a musical family. His father was a guitarist and a music teacher, and his mother was a singer. Lobet's parents recognized his musical talent and encouraged him to pursue a career in music. At the age of six, Lobet began studying guitar with his father, who taught him the traditional Catalonian guitar style. He also received lessons in harmony, theory, and composition from his father. At the age of 13, Lobet was accepted into the Barcelona Conservatory, where he studied under the renowned Spanish guitarist and composer Francisco Torrega. Torrega had a significant impact on Lobet's playing and musical style. He taught Lobet the importance of expression, tone, and phrasing in guitar playing. Lobet's time at the conservatory was cut short due to financial difficulties, and he left after only two years of study. Early career and travels After leaving the conservatory, Lobet began performing in various cafes and bars in Barcelona, honing his skills as a guitarist. In 1899, at the age of 21, he embarked on a tour of South America, where he gained valuable performance experience. During his travels, Lobet met and played with many renowned musicians. In 1901, Lobet returned to Barcelona and began teaching at the Municipal School of Music. He also continued to perform in cafes and salons, gaining a reputation as a virtuoso guitarist. In 1903, he made his debut at the prestigious Palau of Catalonian Music, where he received critical acclaim for his performance. International Recognition and Collaboration Lobet's reputation as a guitarist continued to grow, and in 1912, he was invited to perform at the prestigious Paris Conservatoire. It was during this time that he met the great Spanish guitarist and composer, Isaac Albaniz, who became a close friend and collaborator. Lobet arranged many of Albaniz's piano works for the guitar, bringing them to a wider audience. In 1913, Lobet made his debut in London, where he received critical acclaim. He also toured throughout Europe, performing in major cities such as Berlin, Vienna, and Rome. Lobet's performances were known for their technical brilliance, musicality, and expressiveness, and he became one of the most sought-after guitarists of his time. In 1922, Lobet made his first trip to the United States, where he performed in New York and Boston. He also gave masterclasses at the Juilliard School of Music, which had a profound impact on the development of classical guitar in America. Lobet's performances in America were a huge success, and he returned several times over the next few years. Contribution to Classical Guitar Music Lobet was a pioneer in the development of classical guitar music. He was one of the first guitarists to perform the works of Johann Sebastian Bach, bringing the music of the Baroque era to the guitar. He was also known for his arrangements of Spanish folk songs, which he incorporated into his performances, bringing the traditional music of his homeland to a wider audience. Lobet's arrangements of Albanitha's piano works for the guitar were groundbreaking. He not only transcribed the music but also added his own interpretations and embellishments, making them more suitable for the guitar. These arrangements became a part of the standard repertoire for guitarists and are still widely performed today. Teaching Legacy Aside from his successful career as a performer, Lobet was also a dedicated teacher. He taught at various conservatories and music schools, including the Municipal School of Music Barcelona and the Guildhall School of Music in London. He also gave masterclasses around the world, inspiring many young guitarists. Lobet's teaching methods were highly esteemed, 
and his students included some of the most renowned guitarists of the 20th century, such as André Segovia, Emilio Pugil, and Maria Luisa Anido. He emphasized the importance of expression and interpretation in guitar playing, and his teachings had a significant impact on the development of the classical guitar. Later Years and Legacy In the 1930s, Lobet moved to Argentina, where he continued to perform and teach. He also recorded some of his arrangements for the guitar, which were highly praised. However, his health began to deteriorate, and he passed away on February 22, 1938, in Barcelona, Spain. Lobet's legacy continues to live on through his recordings and compositions, as well as through the many guitarists he taught. His contributions to the classical guitar are immeasurable, and his influence can be seen in the playing of many modern guitarists. His arrangements and compositions are still widely performed, and his teachings are still studied and admired by guitarists around the world. In conclusion, Miguel Lobet was a pioneer in the world of classical guitar. His virtuosity, musicality, and innovative arrangements have had a lasting impact on the development of the guitar as a concert instrument. He will be remembered as one of the greatest guitarists of the 20th century and as a true master of his craft.